Hey guys, Jonathan Feist here for Drone Rush. We're at Interdrone 2018, and we're going to hang out with one of our favorite manufacturers, Unique. Yeah, so today we announced our strategic partnership with 3DR. And what that's going to entail is Unique's best in breed hardware platform combined with 3DR's site scan software based on Drone Code's open source software. And what this is going to provide is a more secure solution for government entities that are looking for more secure data transmission. Okay, so we also announced today our new E10T thermal imaging camera. So we've had a low resolution thermal camera in the past. We now have a high resolution thermal camera. So this one is offered in two different flavors, either 320 by 256 or 640 by 512. One of the important features of the E10T camera, just like with our other thermal camera, is it's actually a dual camera. It's a low light camera as well as a thermal camera. So you can either be filming in low light or thermal, or you can overlay both images and see both the low light, high resolution, and the thermal qualities. The new thermal camera, the E10T, it works on all of the H520 platforms. It's interchangeable with any of the other payloads that we've already offered on that platform. It will only work with the H520. It does not work on the consumer-based product. So our other announcement this morning was the Mantis Q. The Mantis Q is our newest addition to the consumer line. That's this little foldable drone right here. This thing is amazing. Not only does it fly like a champ indoors due to both the optical flow and the ultrasound sensors, but it, it flies like a champ outdoors. 33 minute flight time. And it has a couple of things that other drones don't really have. They have voice control. I can tell it to take off. I can tell it to land, I take it, tell it take a picture, tell it to start the video. It also has facial recognition, where on the image on my screen, I can tag you and have it start following you as opposed to just following me. It's not sensor-based anymore, it's now visual tracking. So this just launched online a couple of weeks ago. It's available on our website, it's available on Amazon and a couple of our other reseller sites. It'll be available in the stores where you can physically go down and pick it up within the next three to four weeks. And its price point is $4.99. That includes a controller, which extends the range to one mile, and a multi-port battery charger. Took the opportunity to ask them if there's anything new coming from the company, things we can look out for from the future. We have some, you know, we do have some new interesting opportunities in South America that they're particularly looking at our thermal imaging uh, cameras. We've had some, uh, a lot of interest in some of the higher elevations in South America because of the hexcopter can fly at such higher elevations. We've had this thing up to 15,000 feet above sea level. And a normal quadcopter really can't get that high. Can't move enough air, typically. So uh, there's been a lot of interest in Peru, and down in those areas. Uh, Colombia has picked up a fleet of them. So a lot of work down in there. No, but I, I can tell you this. So the Mantis Q that we just talked about, it, that is the first iteration of that, of that camera, okay? It is electronically stabilized imaging. The next version, which will be out, will have a full physical gimbal. And that's it, thanks for joining us. Please stay tuned if you want to see more from Interdrone 2018. Plenty more coverage coming. Give us those thumbs up and hit that bell icon when you subscribe to make sure you see what comes next. Thanks again all, fly safe.